may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. More news coming out, so we're going to try to jump into some more articles. We've got stuff coming out of NATO, some more threats coming out of Russia, and some more other things that I have went through and really relates to us and the rapture of the church. So these are the things that we, we look for when we're going into the news. Okay, now remember, also, when you're putting your prayer request, make sure you put it under the pinned comment. Also, anything, information that you have that we have gotten that you think we need, make sure you send it to the email. It's in the description box. Everything's there. Also, once again, thank you for all those who bought me stickers and those who bought the super stickers here on YouTube and the ones who bought me coffees. Now, it says here, this coming in, hundreds of dead French soldiers in Ukraine. So, remember, they've talked about sending all these French troops in there, and they did. Then they say they're not there. Then they say they're there. Then they say they're not there, but they're there. Now, it says Paris has not seen casualties since uh, since the war in Algeria. French death toll has crossed the physiological threshold. In other words, a lot of French soldiers have been killed. Uh, Russian Foreign uh, Intelligence Service, the SVR, is declassifying a report by an agent who said in March France was preparing to send a group of around 2,000 troops into Ukraine. Now, the update was published in the latest issue of the SVR Scout magazine. In it, an agent using the uh, Felix claimed that the French military was concerned about the increased number of French people killed in Ukraine, particularly after Russian forces destroyed a temporary mercenary deployment center there in Kharkiv last, uh, last January. Now, that strike alone killed dozens of French citizens. Paris reportedly estimated, uh, noting that uh, since then, similar attacks had begun uh, become the norm in the conflict in Ukraine. Now, the French military defense has acknowledged that it has not seen such casualties since the war in Algeria in the second half of the 20th century, according to Felix's encrypted cable. Now, the SVR agent reported that the exact number of casualties and the idea that there are any French soldiers in Ukraine has all been uh, deliberately concealed by French authorities, exactly what's happened here in America. But they're there. They fear that the number of victims has crossed the physiological significant threshold and that their publication could cause mass public protest and resentment among serving officers. Despite these issues, Felix said that the French authorities are nevertheless preparing a contingent to send to Ukraine, so they're not quitting. Claiming that this group has initially planned to include another uh, 2,000 troops. After all, French President Emmanuel Macron has long hinted that the, his country could send troops to fight alongside Kiev, and it will happen. They, they, they've definitely planned it out. They've put it out there so people will get a taste of it before it happens. Now, this is Russia's response to everything that's been going on the last couple of days with what Biden has said and what's going on with Ukraine. Now, Medvedev, furious with NATO summit, threatens Ukraine and the alliance with extinction. This is no joke. The former president of Russia, Dmitry Medvedev, uh, once again attacked Ukraine and NATO on the occasion of the alliance meeting in Washington and the huge package of military aid amounting to about $40 million billion, dollars, billion dollars, for the Ukraine military forces against the background of delivery of the F-16 fighter jets, which we've talked about, it's been in the news the last couple of days, and the Patriot Air Defense Systems. We must do everything so the Ukraine's irreversible path to NATO ends either with the disappearance of Ukraine or with the di disappearance of NATO. So, yeah, that's a pretty good threat. And that's exactly what happens. But it's nothing to fear. 
we're just going home. Thank God. We will continue to support Ukraine in its irreversible path towards full European Atlantic integration, including NATO membership. Now, remember, we just talked about that today, that they're going to fast track this NATO membership. They're trying to get it done now. And that's just to poke these guys to make them mad so they'll make a move. That's what they want. The conclusion is obvious. We must do everything so that Ukraine's irreversible path to uh, NATO ends either in the disappearance of Ukraine or NATO or even both. It is recalled that before the official start of the recession, NATO member states announced that they started transferring their F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine Air Force. But they can't be in Ukraine because there's no place there to have them. So they got to be in Poland and Romania. This is the part they don't tell you, but we that watch it know this. Russia does too. The multi-role fighters will bring closer and just a lasting peace. That's a lie. Assured Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky, president in the U.S. capital. The F-16s from Denmark and Netherlands will be flying over Ukraine airwaves uh, in the summer, said U.S. Secretary Anthony Blinken yesterday. The White House, for its part, pointed out that Belgium and Norway have just pledged to supply more fighter jets to Ukraine, which faces frequent Russian missile strikes against its air bases. It has no air bases, so don't be fooled. They will use... NATO pilots, listen to me very clearly. We know this. We're not stupid, and Russia ain't either. They will use NATO pilots. Ukraine, it would take them four years to be trained in these F-16s. They don't have that time, and they don't have the manpower. It will be NATO pilots coming out of Romania and Poland, and Russia knows this, and they've already threatened them. That's part of this. Because they've already said if you fly the F-16s here, they can carry the nuclear bombs, and they will annihilate the countries that these things are flying out of. And that is Poland and Romania, which will bring NATO in into this war, one against one, or, you know, you attack one, you get them all in there. So, literally, that's what they're trying to do. They want Russia to attack a NATO country. And it's not them. Let's, let's reward this. Lucifer wants this really bad. And these guys are controlled by him. And he's going to get these countries to where they finally do the deed. But first, we got to be gone. North Korea, greater threat than ever, warns NATO partners. So here's another one. This is part of the access of evil. North, uh, North Korea's escalating military activities pose a more imminent threat to Japan's national security than ever, according to Tokyo's defense ministry. The ministry highlighted regional tensions fueled by China and Russian military. Once again, the access of evil. They're always framing it in every story. So you get it in your head. The tensions around Taiwan, tensions between China and U.S. and North Korea missile tests, and the annual white paper, these issues have prompted Japan to enhance its defense capabilities and deepen ties with its allies. Now, the Japanese Defense Ministry, Defense of Japan report, is an annual document that outlines Japan's assessments of the current international security environment and details the national defense policy strengthened and strategies of plans of the, for the future. This year's report said that North Korea posed a more grave and imminent threat to Japan national security than ever before. Yeah, they've got a ton of nukes. It wouldn't seem that way. Newsweek has reached out to the representative of the Japanese government via the website for this comment. North Korea has been conducting frequent missile tests in recent months. I think it's like they do it every time that somebody over there uses the bathroom. As part of Proyong's effort to develop its ballistic missile and nuclear capabilities. And they do this like every other day. These tests are often in the direction of Japan, which is true, which has highlighted regional security tensions. When they fire these nukes as this training exercise, you know, like Trump said, Kim Jong-un, he's rocket man. They always shoot them towards Japan and they go over. Eventually, one of them could fall on them. So I understand what they're saying. Newsweek has reached out to the representative of the North Korea government. Good luck with that. You might as well call Santa Claus and get a, probably get an answer first. China and Russia also have intensified their military activities around Japan using ships, aircraft in the region. These actions have perceived as a strategic de- uh, demonstration of force by Japan. Go, 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 Godzilla. Japan's defense ministry has expressed grave concern over China and Russia's joint military activities around Japan, describing the deliberate demonstrations of force. Wait for the moth comes. The paper noted that Chinese military ambitions are the greatest strategic challenge to Japan and the world, according to Barron. 
It has also noted highlighted defense risks associated with artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and disinformation, which is unfortunately gripping the world. This, coupled with North Korea's aggressive missile testing, as I said, Rocket Man, has significantly highlighted regional security risks. In response, Japan plans to increase its defense spending to match NATO's uh, standard of 2% of GDP by 2027. Now, something you don't know, Japan's broke. They're about as broke as we are. Despite the financial challenges posed by the yen's depreciation, just like I just said, we watch their economies. We're watching all of these economies. That's what tells us how close they are to war. Most people don't know to do that, but that's what happened in World War II. It's happening just like it is now. People's economies are on the brink of disaster, and that's when you go to war. According to the Baron, Beijing has said that it's strongly dissatisfied and resolutely, res resolutely opposed to the claims and uh, the Defense of Japan report. Of course, China disagrees with everything unless it comes out of their mouths. A foreign ministry spokesperson told Baron that the latest version of Japan's defense white paper seriously interferes in China's internal affairs. Everything bothers China. Plays the same old tune, hypes up the so-called Chinese threat, which it is. China threat poses a threat to the world. That's just the truth. Not the Chinese people, but their government. Japan continues to develop ties with the other countries in the region, including Australia and South Korea. On Monday, Japan signed a defense pact with the Philippines to allow development of troops to each other's territory, according to the defense post. So, once again, we're talking about the access of evil, and they're framing that with everything that we're seeing. Now, it says here, I see, well, we kind of went into that. This is probably a little bit the same with Dimitri. Okay, NATO slams China over ties with Russia. Once again, China, the access of evil, North Korea, Iran, and Russia. Beijing has dismantled the military's block claim that it's shoring up Moscow's defense industry uh, is provocative lies, which is not. They're definitely doing it. As I said, China's government lies about everything. NATO has accused China of being a decisive enabler of Russia's military campaign against Ukraine, and they are, prompting an angry rebuke from Beijing over the U.S.-led military bloc's Cold War mentality. Now, China and Russia has characterized their relations as no-limit par partnership, which has been strengthened since the West imposed sweeping sanctions on Moscow following the outbreak of Ukraine's conflict. Uh, during a visit by Russian President Vladimir Putin to Beijing in May, he and the Chinese counterpart Xi, Xi, Xi proclaimed a new area of the nation's strategic ties. Now, NATO members hit out uh, uh, at relations between Beijing and Moscow in a declaration issued in the Bloc 75th Anniversary Summit in Washington, D.C. on Wednesday, claiming that China continues to challenge its resources, securities, and values. Now, it's funny. You see all this stuff. You wonder why there ain't too many movies coming out anymore. Well, China pretty much owns Hollywood. That's why every time you see a movie out or a TV show, they're talking about China somewhere, in it, even though it don't even belong there. It's because China pretty much owns Hollywood. And now every, every, all this stuff's happening with China. There's nothing being funded and nothing's coming out. That's why. They pretty much take, took over Hollywood. Every movie that was coming out for years had to have something about China. And even though it didn't even fit, it was there. And if you go back and watch your stuff, you'll see what I mean. They own Hollywood. And now where they're becoming the bad guys... They're not funding all these movies and shows anymore because they was doing all the funding. And what they was doing is putting these subliminal messages in all these movies and shows that China's the good guy, America's the bad guy, in which they're both the bad guys. But literally, China was using that to sow racial tension and everything else. That's what they do. So does Russia. All these countries do it. And America does it, too. That's why I said, love your brothers and sisters. We're all equal. Because Satan will, that's something Satan always uses is this racial divide. When you see people talking about racist and all that stuff, that's coming from him. Because that's what he tries to do. He tries to sow all this to create this evil, uh, us not working together. That's what he does that for. The deepening strategic partnership between Russia and the PRC and their mutually reinforcing attempts to undercut and reshape the rules-based international order or a cause of profound concern, added the document, which has signed the heads of state of the governments of NATO members. Now, the U.S. military bloc uh, further accuses China of shoring up Russia's defense industry by transferring dual-use materials and components, as well as engaging in malicious cyber and hybrid activities. That is true, which all these countries are doing. 
Responding to the allegations at Thursday, a spokesman for the Chinese mission in the EU described them as a provocative and obvious liar and smears, Beijing has said, which, like I said, China says everything's lies, which a little part of that's true. Everything we see pretty much is. The mission re- uh, uh, iterated that China is not the creator of the Ukraine crisis and insists that Beijing is seeking to promote peace talks. That's a, that's a definitely a lie. China never provides lethal weapons to either party of the conflict. That's also a lie, too. Strict export control of dual-use goods, the spokesperson said. NATO has been fanning the flames of the Ukraine conflict and the uh, scavenging others, they added. Beijing also warned NATO from expanding into the Asia-Pacific. That sounds familiar. That's what Russia was talking about with NATO on their properties and close up to their country. And disrupting peace in the region, which there is no peace in Asia. All of them countries are scared to death of China because they're always encroaching on everything. Same thing that Russia was doing there also. Like I said, no good guys in this. We're at the end of the world. Just get used to it. Everybody, all these countries are bad guys. Not the people, the governments, all run by Lucifer. NATO should stop hyping up the so-called China threat and provoking confirmation and rivalry, the mission statement included. Which we, like I said, we already know how this thing's going to end. God's already warned us that China and all these people, they're not good guys. They all come in at this one time period when they strike the United States. It's coming. Okay? They seek power. Everybody here, what you're looking at right now is pride and corruption and the power of greed. This country is no different. They're trying to conquer the world just like these other countries are trying to conquer the world too. Now, Satan will use that, their greed and their power to turn against each other and to get his guy in so his guy will suck up all the power. That's what the Bible tells us, and that's what we're seeing. The only way to do that is get rid of the Constitution and the U.S. dollar. That is the biggest threat to the Antichrist. It just is. Them two cannot be allowed to go on any longer. So when we go, he's going to take those out, and he does. Because they cannot be here to have the mark of the beast. They've got to be gone. Constitution and the dollar has to be gone, and they will be wiped out. And that's what will happen. That's why God showed us this and showed us that the rapture of the church is very close. Our only job now is just to let you know that this is about to happen. You either believe it or you don't. Like I said, you go to Jesus and ask him to confirm it. He'll confirm to you just like he has many others that this is what's coming, that this is all being set up for the Antichrist. That means we got to be gone before the normal runs out. That's why we're here. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. He died and was buried and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. If you're lost out there, call only before it's too late. All this stuff is escalating to the point. And like I said, it's still going to be normal out there. But before these nukes or anything goes off, we have to be gone because the Bible tells us it will still be normal the day of the rapture. And we see normal is running out. That's why. We see the rapture and these other people don't. They think it's years down the road. They don't understand. There is no down the road. Normal will be gone then. These people have to go to war. Here, Satan's convinced them that they've got to go to war before the election, that they've got to bypass those elections. He's also got to the point now where it's like with Israel, if they don't go into Hezbollah and Iran soon, they're going to go bankrupt. And we all know that that don't happen. But they've got to go back to business. Now, that's called Jacob's trouble. Now, the Antichrist will come in and let them start going back to work, and they'll have peace. But it's going to be after they knock, you know, Iran and Hezbollah and all them out. And that will happen. We won't see that either. We're going to be gone. That's why I tell you, normal's running out for us. That's why we can sit here and tell you with all the level of confidence we have that the rapture of the church is here. And it's a good thing. Do you truly want to be here? Once these people start blowing each other up. No, you don't. And these people are on the verge of it. That's why we're, I'm sitting here listening to emergency action messages, watching the cams. There's a lot of things afoot that you can't see that these people are planning and they're going to do. And that's why Jesus is coming to get us. So we don't have to be here and we won't be. Tell a friend, Jesus is coming and the rapture of the church is any moment. The king of all kings, people. The line of Judah is on his way. And what a better world it's going to be. And I can't wait to see each and every one of you there. It's going to be a fun time.
I can't, I can't even express how excited I am to be with all the whole family and we don't have to have these miles between us. Can I get an amen? I can just come over to your house. You come over to mine. It's just so much better. Who would want to be here knowing that that's what's coming at any time? How great is that? Because that's where I want to be and I know that's where you want to be. So you hang in there. The king of all kings, the Lord of lords, king, of, I mean, all of it. It's all there. It's any time now that he will show up in the clouds and pull us out of here. The line of Judah is on his way. I think you guys know that as well as I do from all the confirmations that we've had through all dreams and visions for all the three-year-olds and four-year-olds seeing everything they have. This is an incredible time to be here of everything the Lord's telling people and to get ready for his appearance is amazing. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it, but he's talking and he's given plenty of warning, but one day here soon, we'll be gone and we'll be in a way better place. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.